Hey guys, Miguel again with Farmers Roofing uh, Sales Training. Um, today's video, we're going to go over the install process. Um, in this uh, slideshow, I'm pretty much go step by step um, the install process so you can get a better idea of what's going on. Also, um, give you more insight to uh, or on how a roof install goes so that when you're in front of a customer, you'll have a better idea of how to explain to a customer the install process. So we're going to dive right in. Okay. So the first part of the install process, as you can see, is the tear off. You know, they're using the shovels. They're pretty much taking off all the old shingles and they're, um, Going all the way down to the decking, they're taking off the 30 pound felt. I mean, going all the way down to, to the plywood. Either it's gonna be plywood or one by something. Like in this picture here, you see you got the, the 30 pound felt here, you got the shingles here, and then they have like a probably a one by eight, one by 10 decking on the roof. So they're gonna take off all the shingles, all the felt, and then also all the little nails that were holding down the felt and once they do that, um, that's pretty much the tear off. Also, um, the drip edge as well. Okay. So next slide. Once they have the roof bare, they're gonna renail down the decking. They're gonna. That's a cold thing. Um, we have to renail every six inches as part of the drying inspection. So they're gonna go with their nail gun on the truss to see how there's in between and they're going to make sure every single piece of plywood is nailed down every six inches per coat okay once they renail down the decking they're going to install the underlayment here we use roof runner as you can see in here uh they're using the synthetic felt um it is uh they're using a, a stinger nailer gun to nail down the button cap nails. Um, some some crews, they wanna use a regular hammer and butt cap nails and they'll hammer it down. But either way, this is part of uh, the, the um, install of the underlayment and it's the beginning stages of the drying, okay? Next, they put the peel and stick material um, down the valleys, sometimes against walls for flashing, around the um, skylights. It can be used in several different areas. Sometimes the transition from one slope into the next. Sometimes there's like a, for example, a, uh, either a 612 pitch and then it goes into a transition to a 312. You would use peel and stick there in order to um, waterproof that area there. This here in particular, they're waterproofing the valley area. And that's typically where you're gonna run into um, the peel and stick. All right, the next thing is the drip edge. Um, we have to nail down the drip edge. The nails are installed every two inches. Using, usually they're using the shingle nails to do that to get it down. Um, but as you can see here, this gentleman is hand banging something to get started so that they can Go ahead and install the, the drip edge. And this metal here, just in case you didn't realize, is drip edge. This is all part of the drying inspection. All right, so drying inspection. It usually occurs in three different ways. Um, you have the in-person where it's gonna be either the city or county inspector comes out and he'll meet with you and then he'll inspect the roof. Um, he'll Probably, if it's already fully dried in, he may cut a hole through the underlayment, see if we renailed it. He may do it in a few areas. Or, you know, he may come out when we're only probably halfway dried in, and he want, he's gonna wanna see if we renailed the decking every six inches. We're using the 50% overlap on the on the, um, the underlayment. We installed the drip edge correctly, We you know, nailing it down with the amount of nails and um usually every two inches we're doing uh the um the overlap on, on the um, drip edge as well so all that stuff the inspector is looking for and that's called, that's part of the drying inspection 
Now, usually isn't it can be in person, but sometimes, believe it or not, certain counties they'll do it, they like say virtually. And pretty much it's gonna be done through Zoom, FaceTime, or Google. Um, usually either an install manager at the site there, or even sometimes the crew foreman will do this. Um, it was very big on COVID. I think some uh, counties still do it. Just, it just depends. But uh, that's another way, you know, FaceTime, Zoom, Google Meet. Uh, I think we'll do it, but I think it's Google Meet now. And then a very common um, practice is the pictures and affidavit. With the pictures and affidavit, pretty much we have to take, we're, we're already taking the pictures, but we have to give them copies of all the pictures of the drying process with an affidavit saying that, you know, we dried in the roof and, you know, we are this contractor, blah, 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 blah. But that is the drying inspection. You should know this as a salesman is a very important part of the whole install process. If we fail drying, we may have to redry in the whole room. So it's, it's very important. Also, if we do the roof and put down all the shingles and it doesn't pass drying inspection, they can force us to take every single shingle off that roof and then reinstall new shingles. And that is a very, very bad situation. Um, so drying inspection, very important. All right, then once we get the, you know, the little blessing uh, from the inspector, we start um, installing the shingles. Shingles are installed in a diagonal form. That's all these two are, are, are installing it. It's usually the shingles start around the bottom and then you got the shingles and it kind of goes up in a diagonal way, okay? And, you know, you usually typically nail down right there on the um, overlap. As you can see, you know where the overlap part of the shingle is versus the, the, the shingle um, that we're installing. There's always going to be a color difference so that the installer knows the overlap is one color and then the, the, the revealing part of the shingle is going to be a different color. But it, all the shingles are overlapped. And we install um, our, well, per Florida code is six nails per shingle. Just FYI. All right, the next, after they get the shingles on, they're going to install the hips and the ridge. Here at um, Farmers Roofing, we install hip and ridge style shingles. Um, we don't do the three taps. Some companies, they'll cut three tap shingles and make them into um, cap shingles and we don't believe in that. So um, again, these are a hip or ridge shingle and that's typically where it's installed and how they're installed, okay? And just like a regular shingles, there is an overlap, okay? All right, once they get, um, start doing on that, um, there is a, what we call a ridge vent, as this plastic material here is used typically on the ridge. And first we have to install the plastic ridge vent as such. And then once we do that, we put the cap shingles over it. So this is a good picture. You can see the ridge vent there. See how they have the shingles there going up to the ridge, ridge vent, cap shingles on top. These people here, they cheated. They put three tabs, but we use uh, the hip and red shingles. But this is just an illustration to show you <laughs> how it's supposed to look. And pretty much, this is usually the finishing product on the roof, the last thing they usually do. And once they do that, pretty much the, the roof is finished. But it's not the last part of the um, install process. Now, once the roof is fully completed, um, you're gonna have to, if well, if if the roof already had an in-person or, or video drying inspection and it has been approved for us to go, go forward, you know, we can complete the roof and do the shingles on the roof. But the last final stage is um, the final inspection. Now, before this can happen, the drying has to pass or we have to deliver the pictures and affidavit you put it with the permit paperwork. As soon as you're done doing that, you will uh, let Stephanie or Kim know that the paperwork was delivered 
they will order the final inspection. And then one of the city inspectors is going to come out, sign off on the roof, and then that will end the install process. Again, folks, this um, video here was to pretty much break down and give you a visual aid to uh, the install process. You know, um, it goes back to the conversation I always have with everybody. You should be a roofing expert and part of being an expert, you should know how to discuss with the customer the install process. I mean, you should be able to clearly and simplify the install process with a customer as I just did with you guys through this video. So guys, I hope you um, are, are using these videos. You're getting some kind of knowledge out of these videos. Um, subscribe to the channel so that you can know when I upload new videos. Also, you know, leave a comment if there's anything you want me to review or go over a little bit more, let me know. Um, but always guys, you know, like I always said, and I always say on every, every one of my videos, you know, go out there and make that money. Till next time.